I think I'm the happiest person here. I don't know whether I could be the happiest person. But first, I want to start by going back in time. Because as we were seated here with the chairman, I'm the one who asked him, by the way, when was the last time Gormahia won the league? And he told me it was 2018-19 when Sport Pesa was on the shirt. <laughs> and now it's almost five years later. So you ask yourself, during that period, what had happened? Sport Pesa at the time, I remember Sport Pesa became so big. And I've always been asked what happened to Sport Pesa at the time. There was a time I could not speak because the people who are fighting me or us <laughs> were not people you could speak of. And everyone seemed to be against Sport Pesa because of the narrative that had been peddled out there. But at the time, I always used to say, the truth will always come out. If we give it enough time, the truth will come out. So Sport Pesa was closed down. <laughs> it was a very sad time because now everything we had built because football at the time, I remember Gormahi at that time were winning the league. You could not compare us with any other team in the region. Our players were a hot kick. I remember Chairman telling me one time after finishing the league, he told me, I don't think we'll have any players. Because all these big African teams are looking for Gormahi players. Our league was also at another level. In terms of even player earnings, because again sitting down with the coach, he was explaining to me the player market that we have right now. And he was explaining where he can source for players. And he was telling me there are players we cannot afford currently. At that time, we were the ones who had the coveted sponsorships in terms of even player welfare that our players were being looked for. We are the ones other teams could say we cannot afford a Gormahe player. So there was all this period that happened after that, unfortunately. Because some people wanted our business, they <laughs> closed us down. But, as I said, the truth always comes out. Let me bring it back now to this new sponsorship. When we were negotiating with Gelfas and the team, they kept telling me, we have offers from these other companies. So I, I used to keep telling Gelfas, Gelfas, there's only one spot person. <laughs> Whatever you're being promised by these other people, first they will deliver. Your players will not be happy, and you will not go anywhere. At the end of the day, we signed our partnership. And at the top of the list was player welfare, because I insisted that the players must be happy. That's why when I saw in the papers that uh, players are, not, are unhappy, they have not been paid, we came up with an arrangement to ensure the players get the money paid directly. And moving forward, we did not realize that it would take only one season for Gormahia to win again. <laughs> so, to the players, you guys, we are, Annie, you've, you've amazed us all and we are very happy for you. What I want to assure you is that this is the beginning of going back to where, not only Sport Pesa, but where Gormahia has always been. We want to take Gormahia to be one of the best teams in Africa, not only Kenya. We want to bring football in Kenya back to the same level it was at that time. In fact, I'm very happy that Shabana, Morana Seals have been promoted to the Premier League. <laughs> I always said community teams are the ones that will bring football fans back to the stadiums. Yes. Once we have these community teams in the league, the league will again grow. We also need a broadcast sponsor. FKF need to really work on that because we want these matches here live to all Kenyans in their TV stations. We have, I feel right now, it's a time for a bit more predictability. Not only in terms even of our business, I think it will be more predictable. Because I remember we used to be, last time we don't know whether next year we'll be harassed. <laughs> but I think now it will be a more predictable time. And that's why even for Gormahia, this partnership, I want by the time we reach, I don't, I don't want to see anybody else on the, on the shirt of Gormahia for however long it takes. So that by the time, <laughs> and I know, I, know, I know we'll go very far. What I want to assure you, the team, Gormahia itself, we are dedicated and we are committed. 
This is one of those partnerships that has a very long history and we want to build it to a very new level. We also sponsor Yanga in Tanzania and I can assure you the difference between then and now. It's very clear, even for the people in the media, if you start comparing Yanga and Gore now, you'll see a very huge difference. But if you compare Yanga and Gore in 2019, again, it's a totally different story. Something has changed between 2019 and now. And the potential we have as Gore Mahia, as Kenyan football, is huge. It just needs the support. Sportpesa, of course, I always say we can never do it alone. I always call on government in its commitment to advance the sports agenda to ensure that the clubs are funded properly. Right now, we've said when you travel for CAF, we'll ensure we support in terms of the ticketing so that you don't have those problems that you used to have. And it will be a challenge. CAF is not easy. Those teams you're going to play there are also well prepared. But one thing I know in Kenya, we have talent. We have talent. What has always failed is the support that is required either from the private side or from the government side. But what I am hopeful for is that, you know change is always good. I don't want to start talking politics, <laughs> but I want people to have some kind of hope because of the change in government. We can all lose faith. I always tell people we can lose faith and say, you know, every time something happens, everything is stolen, everything goes, but let's have a bit of hope so that some change might come. For me, I see this as a hopeful period for us, for football, for Gurumahia, as we move forward, I see a very big improvement in our football in Kenya. So for me, it's a celebration. Gretfast was calling me after, after, after we lost to homeboys. <laughs> I told Gretfast, me, I've played sports. If these players don't have that passion to win this last game, if they don't want to win that last game, if they don't have it, I told him, Gretfast, there's nothing I can do. It is on you to motivate those players, because players always want to win. Make sure these players know that they must win that last game. Because I had really panicked. I was like, we cannot down and just lose at the tail end of the league. And I want to thank you players for delivering that title. I think we've shocked, I think, even the whole country. <laughs> no one... Go on this run we've done, even in terms of the point study that we've acquired. It's a very competitive league right now. And it'll be even more competitive next season. But we'll be together throughout that journey. Hopefully we'll get back to the time we used to have those uh, tournaments in East Africa. Maybe there's a time again we'll go back to Everton, who knows. But <laughs> for me, <laughs> I'm seeing a hopeful time. I see all those things coming true. So for me today is to thank you all, players, technical bench, the whole team of Gormaya for making us proud. Even for the brand, we are proud to be on the shirts of Gormaya. So today, is a celebration. I don't know when we're doing the parade, but for today, <laughs> uh, we had promised an award, and today we're going to award 3.65 million shillings to, to the team. I had nowadays in the league, there's no prize money. I don't know why. Maybe that's a conversation for another day. And even for AKF, FKF, that trophy, there's another trophy. This, this trophy we have here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, yeah, I like it. You know, winning, the feeling of winning, even if you're given a glass, you'll be very happy to hold it. <laughs> so for us, even in Gormaya, we're happy. We've lifted the trophy, trophy. we're the champions of Kenya. I love for FKF, come on, attack us, it is good after trophy in Zuri, when it's our NBA. There was a time we were, we were sponsoring the league and we had an amazing trophy. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, you guys have it, eh? Because you won three times in a row. FKF or Kitaka Usaidizi, we know where to source for amazing trophies. We'll find here then. But we are happy that we are the champions right now. And we will be the champions again the next season. Coach, thank you very much. You've done an amazing job. I'm happy to hear you're staying with the team. And Gormahia, when we go to CAF, Tuta, we will support again. We'll be there together throughout. I think those few words. Again, I'm the happiest person here. Players and the lane, evil, evil. So, our goal as Sportpesa is to ensure your salaries, they match all these other teams in East Africa. Younger, for example, in Tanzania, we are not the only sponsors. I cannot even tell you the amounts because in Tanzania, the 
the football industry has completely transformed. The bids those teams get, in term, they ask for in terms of sponsorship money, is not even close to what we have here in Kenya. And again, they have broadcast sponsors. I think younger, the total amount of sponsorship money they get is close to $4 million per season from different sponsors. Their gate collection is almost a million dollars per season. So we have a long way to go. And it's, Tanzania is no different from Kenya. This can be done. For our part, we'll put the effort in. I know media will also play their part. Government, hopefully, will push them to play their part. And in no time, we'll be competing with them in terms of player welfare, especially. Not only competition, but also player welfare. Those few words, thank you very much. But I thank you. I think I'll finish there. We are the happiest people in the room. Asante Nisana.